Good afternoon gamers, welcome back. My name is Average Gamer 2015 and as you can tell we are here with Kerbal Space Program. This is a little bit different version of Kerbal Space Program. This is on the Xbox. So yes, it is on the Xbox and hopefully it's going to be just as good as the computer version. So some of you who may not have a computer fast enough to fully enjoy it on the, on the computer can play it on an Xbox. The one thing right off the bat that I'm going to have some issue with, I hate cursors and using my controller with cursors, but we'll go ahead and work past that. Go ahead, uh, choose a few of these right off the bat. I'm not going to do a bunch of the tutorials because having played it on the computer before, I'm just curious to see what it's like on on the consoles. So let's go ahead and build our first vehicle here. Try and get us a little bit of science. Maybe uh, get a few upgrades then. And of course, the typical first shuttle of KSP. Solid booster, your capsule, and if I can find it, a parachute. This is why I hate cursors on my controller. I suck at them. So yeah, let's go ahead and fix our staging real quick. And launch it. I mean, so far it seems to be working a lot better than it did on on the PC. But I was using with an older console or an older PC. I mean, I just got a new new computer here a little while back, so I haven't had a chance to try it on that yet, but. Anyway, let's go ahead and launch. Oh, the graphics are so awesome on this. And I think if I remember right, to fast forward, is left button and B. Yep. I was reading some tutorials on this and going through the controllers just to try and get a slight idea of what we need to do. You know, just launching into this, I uh, suppose I should probably deploy the parachute. Whew. Anyway, uh, wouldn't have a slight idea of what we were doing, so I went through and read some of those. Let's go ahead and slow time down. We don't want to do that. There we go. Recover vessel. Perfect, and we had a successful first launch. That is what I like to see. So we got ourselves 10 science. I don't know that I'm going to work on doing reports and that sort of thing to get science. I'm still trying to figure out how to do that one. Uh reading up on it. it there, there's not really a shortcut button from what I could tell. Maybe I'm wrong and if I am and someone out there knows, please make sure to comment on what I'm doing wrong or what I need to do. Let's go ahead and get some basic rocketry. And engineering so we can get a decoupler. We get, nope. Oh, we can get survivability. Perfect. Now we've got enough to go out there and make ourselves a little bit better rocket, something that can go a little bit higher anyway. Okay, so we need our command pod.
a lot bigger rocket. Oh, don't we need? There we go. Decoupler. Then rocket. And I don't know. Let's see, crash alarms twelve meters per second. Is one of them bigger? Oh yeah. We want bigger. Bigger better. We'll put two of them on here. Right about there. And drag our decoupler down because I don't want those going off at the same time. Otherwise our parachute will just burn up in the atmosphere anyway. And let's go ahead and launch this. See what happens. Bigger engine, we can decouple. Maybe we'll go further this time. Well, that's not even a question. I know we'll go further this time. And launch right away. Like I said, this is so much better than it was on my computer just from the fact that the Xbox is such a great console and can keep up with the, the needs for a game that requires as much memory and everything else as Kerbal Space Program does. Let's go ahead and decouple and we'll just go ahead and speed up. I should take off SAS. We'll hurry up and get back to curve in here real quick. Hopefully, don't burn up or kill Jebediah because that would be traumatic. And we're on into re-entry here, coming up. What the heck was that still out there that we just passed? Parachutes are deployed. Now we just hurry up and wait for it to get down. While I'm thinking about it, guys, if you have any games, I don't care if it's some uh, very unknown game online or something that you want me to go out and buy to, to play, let me know. I am open to any suggestions here. I know when Farm Simulator 17 comes out. I will be in line to go play that or to go buy that so I can play it because that is such a great game, such a great series of games anyway, and I've been looking forward to it for a very long time. Uh, recover the vessel. I think we're gonna go ahead and possibly do one more launch here. I really don't want the video to get too long. But I also want to do something besides just launch a couple vehicles half-assed. So why don't we go ahead. Everything else is going to stay the same. We are going to add another solid rocket booster here to the end with a decoupler. And we will launch that. Because why not?
Okay, let's go. It's going to be slower starting off because we've got so much weight on here, but let's get a little bit of an angle in here. We're definitely getting some speed on here. Okay, decouple. And launch the second one. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> I suppose it helps if I put SAS on. We are really, really cruising. We need to get higher. We've got too much friction building up. We are going to burn up. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up. And we'll decouple right away. Then we'll go ahead and speed up. Well, we reached orbit anyway. That should count for something. You can see where we took off from. Hopefully this will get us a fair amount of science so we can go ahead and get some other upgrades here. Then I think for the next episode what I'm going to work on, I'm going to probably do some playing on this offline just so I can get an idea for how to transmit data. I know that's where a lot of science comes from. And heck, it's a lot of the missions that they ask you to do is transmit some form of data. So I am going to work on figuring that out and hopefully be able to try some of that in the next episode. If, uh, oh boy, we are out of control. Oh, Jebediah is just enjoying it. Or he's screaming. I can't ever tell with the Kerbals. Right, let's slow her down so I can get this under control. That's as good as she's going to get. Sorry, Jebediah. There we go. Okay, let's slow down a little bit more. And parachutes deployed. Mm. As long as we can land this, this will be... Three successful launches in a row, which for me is outstanding. Okay, we'll go ahead and speed this up until he lands. Come on. Any minute now. Almost there. Three, two, one. Touchdown! Okay. Actually, let's see if I can... Awesome! We achieved... They unlocked an achievement. I don't know how to zoom in. I really don't know. I guess I'll have to figure that out here. Maybe it, there we go. Left button and the right toggle. So let's have him actually do an EVA. EVA report. Let's just keep the experiment. Um, 
Long B to board. Long tap. Oh. Okay, and let's go ahead and recover the vessel and see how much science we got. That took way too long to figure that out, but we can at least do EVAs now. I kind of have an idea of how to do that. So we'll see how much science. 16 for recovery of the vessel. Another achievement unlocked. EVA report while flying over Kerbin's grasslands. So we ended up getting 60 science, that's not bad. Or no, 27.2 science earned, 60 science total is what we have. Anyway guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave this video here. So if you liked it, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. It is greatly appreciated. And as always, I'll see you guys later.